Douglas Brooks, more commonly known as Swipey or Dirty Swipey, grew up in Washington, D.C. He did well in school, achieving good results, and had even planned to attend Morgan State University in Baltimore, Maryland. However, he decided to put down the books and pursue his passion of music creation instead. Gaining popularity in his city and online, Swipey was destined to make it, given his work ethic and unique style. In spite of his quick rise to succession, something tragic was about to happen. Media reported that Douglas Brooks was either chatting to a friend, or arguing with a girl that he used to mess with, whilst at an apartment complex. A party was currently taking place, with this being hosted by one of his relatives. With a large gathering, unwanted people are bound to eventually show up, and this is usually when the trouble starts. Unfortunately for Swipey, his life was about to be cut short. Reports indicate that at least four men rolled up to the parking lot in a light-colored SUV. Evil intent circulating in their minds, the media reported that the men were there with the intent to rob partygoers, and were armed with multiple handguns. They were aware that the party was taking place because people had been posting about it on social media. Word spreads, and they were ready to strike. Conveniently, the men spotted Douglas Brooks, who was now in the parking lot, and all four of them made their move. They knew his face, given his status within the DMV. He was an up-and-coming rapper, who many people loved and admired. Having approached Douglas Brooks, a confrontation took place. The next thing that people heard were gunshots, with at least two guns being fired. Police were dispatched to the crime scene, finding 18-year-old Douglas Brooks suffering from multiple gunshot wounds, with one being a gunshot wound to his head. He was lying unresponsive, later being pronounced dead in the parking lot. The community grieved the loss of this young artist, including one of his managers named Kevin Baldwin from the music label M.O.P.3. Kevin claimed to have acted as a father figure for the young rapper, taking him on a plane and out of town, something which he'd never done before. He also mentioned occasionally clashing with the young rapper, being concerned with the company that he kept. A police investigation revealed that Swipey's murder was not random. It was a targeted crime. Speculation as to the reason why anyone would want to murder the rapper cropped up, with some arguing that the same girl that he had argued with, had been the person who had set him up to be robbed. Police denied this, mentioning that they had interviewed her twice about the case. Either way, rumor and talk continued, with the case going cold for the remainder of 2016. Deontay Brewer and Deshaun Watkins were indicted for the murder of Douglas Brooks, along with six other charges. Brewer was linked via a GPS tracking device because of a previous criminal case. Watkins was tied in because he'd been caught with one of the guns fired on the night of the murder. Police then reviewed the two suspects' movements on the night. They linked the two teenagers to the murder location through their phones, since both were switched on the whole time, and could be triangulated. It appeared as though they'd showed up and waited a few minutes, before spotting, approaching and killing Swipey. Following the murder, they then fled at a high rate of speed. It was said that the offenders had planned to rob people at the party. However, they didn't try to sneak inside and seemed to specifically target Swipey in the parking lot. His death contradicted the idea that the offenders were even planning to rob anyone, as the offenders didn't even make it inside the apartment building. Swipey was outside, and likely didn't have much on him in terms of monetary value, and it wasn't as if he was a massive guy. Why'd they feel the need to shoot him multiple times? Had he fought back and they grew frustrated and fired? Carlos Green and Mandel Green, were added to the indictment. One of the men who had pulled the trigger, Deshaun Watkins, had helped to identify these two men and was set to take a plea deal, which later didn't go ahead. This decision is ironic given a hashtag posted on his Instagram page. As you'll soon learn, there were a number of different problems with this indictment. According to the Maryland Court of Special Appeals, the case against each defendant was continued multiple times, with each case having been constantly delayed over the years. One reason for the cases taking so long to be resolved was because of the state failing to provide discovery. Furthermore, new evidence and witnesses came forward. Prosecutors eventually entered what is known as a nolle prosequi. In Latin, this means we'll no longer prosecute. Basically, they dropped all of the charges because they couldn't prove that the men had been involved. Contrary to popular belief, this doesn't mean that the men were acquitted of Swipey's murder, as the charges can be brought back at a later date. A January 2017 DNA report from a Utah lab was sent in. This concerned Swipey's murder case because it was one of the guns involved in his shooting. Deshaun Watkins's DNA was on the firearm. He had mentioned the names of people present on the evening of Swipey's death, but never ended up testifying, which also damaged the prosecution's case against him and his co-defendants. A startling revelation emerged. The state had allegedly reanalyzed a phone belonging to one of two of Swipey's managers. Kevin Baldwin was one of them. Alleged cell phone analysis showed additional text messages, 
and a new cell phone number that had made several contacts with one of the defendants, Mandel Green, immediately before and after Swipey's murder. The phone belonged to Kevin Baldwin. Just why had his manager been in communication with one of the men accused in his murder? Deshaun Watkins pleaded guilty to a firearm charge, a gun used during the 2016 murder of Swipey. Although he never took the plea deal, he still had to do some time, but it definitely didn't match up to the crime that he was accused of. The state was informed that an inmate had alleged that two of the defendants had killed Swipey at Kevin Baldwin's request. Mandel Green had been the person who had spoken to the inmate and told him this information. The state admitted that the new phone evidence found on May 29, 2019, supported this inmate's story. Additionally, two other inmates told the same story. Allegedly, the state was claiming that Kevin Baldwin had wanted Swipey gone, and according to the state, he'd used these four men to do his dirty work. All four co-defendants were once again indicted for Swipey's murder. Additionally, Kevin Baldwin had been added to the indictment as a co-conspirator. According to the state, all five men had conspired to rob and kill Swipey. The original four defendants had filed motions to dismiss the charges against them. They had all requested a speedy trial but had all been denied this. Following a joint hearing in which all four were present, the Circuit Court of Prince George's County granted the men their motions. All four men had their charges dismissed with prejudice. This means that the state cannot reopen the case or file new charges in the future. According to the paperwork, the case was officially ended. In an eerie twist of fate, police responded to shots fired, locating 22-year-old Deshaun Watkins suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. The victim was already deceased by the time that emergency services arrived. Apparently, his death is completely unrelated to this case. For at least one of the original defendants, the case is still going forward and he is currently at trial. This is despite the fact that he apparently wasn't even the man who pulled the trigger. Furthermore, at this time, I haven't stumbled upon any information regarding Kevin Baldwin, concerning charges relating to this case. It appears as though the evidence against him isn't strong, with this evidence being the phone communications and inmate witnesses. As of the time of this video, Baldwin is free, and it appears as though he has his own transportation business. Since he isn't locked up, I'm hoping that he is innocent and not involved in any wrongdoing. At the end of the day, whatever the original motivations for the murder of Douglas Brooks, the outcome was the same. The DMV took a major loss and lost an amazing artist. His death serves as a reminder to up-and-coming artists about the fact that success breeds hatred from those around you. With such enormous potential, Swipey had it all, and many found enjoyment from his creative music. His work continues to live on and his style and energy was unmatched. Rest in peace to Douglas Brooks.